What? What is that I hear? That whistling. That strange familiar sound. It sounds like... Dungeon X. We're a Connecticut-based podcast that will never ask for a Patreon. That's not what this is about. This is about recording creativity and imagination run loose in the time where those things are needed. Welcome to Dungeonetics. In our previous episode, a lot actually did go down. Our group of seven investigating the strange Felcross cult find themselves in a bit of trouble coming across a dead body and a mysterious crime. Well, surely our silked tongue friends will be able to talk their way out of this jam, like we've done in all of our other instant. Oh no. Oh no, we're definitely going to jail. So tune in and listen as Vrol and his crew find a way out of danger and into Dungeonetics. Thank you very much. See you soon. And they they bring you in. Um, there is a part of it that's like a community room with beds and chests. Um, they it's uh, used for uh, guards occasionally when when they uh, draft constructs, kind of like the barracks. Uh, the so guild is probably it's the biggest building in the in the town, and it serves no, like, a, it serves no, like a lot of functions. Beds or anything. What? No, like king size beds or anything. No, they're all just just normal size just beds. Cut. <laughs> I <laughs> am pooped. <laughs> uh, and uh, so they 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 bring you in there, and they post about uh, uh, eight guards at the uh, around your uh, room. Is that the window? Hmm. There are, there's not many windows, they're very small windows because it is kind of like a barracks. Yeah. Not meant for multiple ways of uh, entry. So they basically, they're like, you can sleep it off in here and we can discuss this later. Mm. Fine. I guess we should, we shall. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Guess we're <laughs> just... I'm not, uh, okay. I'm not, I'm not part of the group, am I? Yeah, me oh. either. If you guys, well, it, we had stuff, yeah, guys the, those the, guys kind of like are off on their own. The they never crowd. associate or talk to anyone. So, I wasn't the ones that walked up and like, we were looking for a book. And then, so you guys, by so you guys can, uh, rest in a uh, common room in the yeah, go to that room. Room. That we had. Cue the RPG save music, yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> Good night's sleep. Had a great event. <laughs> so you guys, uh, uh, you do notice as they're being escorted into the guild hall, um, and all the people are dispersed. Uh, the crime scene is unguarded. All right. So you notice, um, like he noticed, that under one of his hands, he has a lot of dirt. Uh, Underneath his nails, almost, almost like, he, like he was like digging with his bare hand. Mm. And uh, oh. I want to look around the ground to see if I can see where he was digging. All right. Uh, where was he digging? Oh, he was digging. digging for a trap door. Is what he was digging for. My nose is bearing uh -oh. something or a relic of some sort. That's over here. Or is that a grave? A, high, a highly protected relic of some sort. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alrighty. We could make a wizard staff now. <laughs> we definitely go. You for see, it. this fingered into the sand or into the dirt. Uh, the end kind of just like goes off, and you see a lot of blood on it. Um, mm. Like he didn't finish what he was doing. Did you find anything? So the kind of like a sigil. Are you here with me? Yes. Yeah. Mm. On this. Hmm. 
anything to you? It doesn't. It sounds like he might be giving away a name, though. Grover Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Rosebud. I want to make sure that this is not a... Maggie Simpson. No, it's not like a, it's not like, it's not like a place on here. No, yeah. yeah. That's what keep that and show it to the rest of the crew when they really nice. are able to get whatever thing they've gotten themselves into this time. <laughs> like, oh no, Scoob. Does that have any kind of identification on the guy about who he is or anything? Um, yeah, he, he doesn't, people didn't really use the identification at that point. <clears throat> is anyone still wandering about? Um, there's loosely some guards in the square. But they're not like literally staring at him. Um, they're more of protecting the guild howl and just in case this animal attacker comes back. Yeah. Can I wander up one of the guards that's by the guild hall? Sure. What, what was all the ruckus? What would happen here? He's like, there was a murder near the tree. No, not in this part. We haven't had a murder here in years. Occasionally things happen here. Who's the person that got murdered, do you know? Uh, it looks like a faithful by the name of Astral. Astral? Oh man, I think I just saw him the other day. He lives down off Weymouth, right? <laughs> Weymouth. He's like, he, he mentions to another part. He's like, he lives on the, on the far side of the uh, town, but he is a frequent uh, traveler. He, uh, he is actually uh, one of the chosen and occasionally is invited to the Wisdom's Grove. Ah, did, did they catch the person that did it? Not, but we, fear not, citizen, we will discover the culprit. So glad the Wisdom is here to protect us. That's wonderful. I, um, you find you in an alleyway. So like, the guy that was murdered was a member Murder. of the Wisdom Grove. Mm. The Wisdom's Grove. Wisdom's Grove. And where is that? I don't know. But that was on the thing that we got. That you got. He was right into the thing. It looks like it was spelling Grove. Oh. That makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> one plus one usually equals two. Yeah. That's true. And I wonder if the symbol has something to do with the wisdom. Well, well Maybe I we guess... should check out the wisdom group. Well, we'll have to figure out where that is. You should have asked the guard. Well, I can only ask... You can wander up and ask anyone anything you want. I just, you know... I'll keep looking around and I'll, you know, do, do your hide in the shadows thing and I'll come back and find you again. Alright, so you guys just want to pass or is there anything else you want to do that night? I was gonna like wander around and talk to random people. Pretty much everyone's gone to their home. And All right, fine. Most of the Go people. In, then. Most of the people have, after you know, a murder in the town, have bolted themselves into their house by now. Okay. Even the tavern has a much more uh, uh, sober uh, energy now. Okay. I am. He's a cool guy. <laughs> All right, the end. All right, so you guys sleep in the common room. Oh, y'all. Uh, the rest We're of you. Sleeping. The rest of you guys uh, sleep in your assigned quarters. Um, in the morning, uh, you guys are ushered into the council chamber, where the five council members you met last night are arrayed on the other side of the table. They also have uh, the eight guards that were uh, watching you have been replaced. And there are another six different guards uh, in the room now with you in the council. However, these two, since they have not, uh, unless you guys go with the council to meet up with them, are, are not currently in the chamber with the council. <laughs> what did you guys want to do in the morning? Uh, is there a good place to get breakfast? Uh, yeah. <laughs> tavern, I guess? Back to the tavern. Yes, let's go to Saturn and get some breakfast. All right, you guys are eating, and uh, the other five of you are 
arrayed in the council. Oh, thanks. Everyone sleep okay? Oh, I feel great. Good. And they're like, so travelers, so you council. come to our town, and yeah, the first night you're here, uh, one of the faithful is murdered by the near the graphant. Something that has not happened for quite some time. In addition, you have claimed to us that you believe the murderer to be one of your the own. Faithful. Ah. We state facts. Why would we lie to you? We're in enough to protect yourself. The dwarf one of uh, the council is like, we just need to resolve this. I don't care about the faith, but this cannot impact the business of the town. I speak the so, truth. If I had anything to hide, I wouldn't flood. I'd rather talk about the scales of justice than your lost number. Our the scales group. of justice. Bella's like, the scale is something that uh, was used as a reference to the rulership of... Who is the Judge Lion? Judge Lion, I don't know who the Judge Lion is. All I know is the scale was something used, uh, a body of uh, rulership of the Kingdom of Enduran. Hmm. Is that your lineage? Yes, that is ours. The scale was a ruling body of that kingdom. Who's the child with the pale eyes? Pale eyes? Silver. Pale. Same thing. A descendant of the rulers? Who would he be to you? Uh, as I told some of you, you I not tell am me. descended of the kingdom myself. Who she would, has the, sil the silver eyes as well. Who would he be to the kingdom? In, in if the kingdom was restored, uh, any of the current descendants, if proven, theoretically could become rulers. Well, well, as I stated to some of you last night, the Imperium would never allow that. In Abyssal, I'm going to ask if we want to drop all of our cards. In Explain Abyssal, the letters. In, in Abyssal, I say in due time. Is there any reason... I'm just enjoying eggs right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know I think I should go? Uh, Is there any reason... Rattle some cages over there. Yes, Those of you who want the old kingdom restored. <clears throat> Any reason us? Other than myself. Collectively. My, uh, other Collectively. Than myself. Collectively. No one really. And you see like most of the other guys and the council kind of like rolling their eyes. Because you, you would assume that Bella talks about it all the time. She's like, as a descendant, of course I would. I would rule over this kingdom with any of my... Any, if this proposed descendant that you speak of exists. You would rule over this kingdom. I'm a descendant of the line. It doesn't sound like you're the one that's in line to rule, though. So. Well, that, that's as anyone has talked to her, that, that's basically her, she would tell that to everyone, that she is royalty. She has the silver eyes of the, the endurant elves. Yeah, I'm curious rule. about the, the, the feelings of your peers. Uh, the, the captain of the guard, basically, he's like, he's like, it doesn't, you're accused of murder. He's yeah, like, right? it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter what any of us think. There will be no kingdom, and Durin is done. The dwarf is like, same, uh, as long as the business keeps flowing, there's nothing we have, enough magic to reverse the damage done by the Imperium. And even if we did, they would just send a little legion here and stamp us back into the ground. And I say to you in Abyssal, I say it sounds like we have nothing more to share. Wow. Because, and I say also in Abyssal to you, because unless they're all on board, there's no sense in revealing all we know. That is correct. 
It's a shame. Do anyone know this one? Do I know? At that point, you heard, uh, you heard a commotion in the hallway. The door swings open. In comes a centaur. You uh, shall not hold my noble here any longer. As I was explaining to my blooded, I'm the sole witness besides the man that you have insisted did this killing. If you won't take his word, nor my word, then what are we doing here being held against our will? As you complete that, the other centaur busts into it. You see some of the guards drop their spears, and uh, the captain of the guard is like, Order! Who are you? Points to the other centaur. I am the liege of my lord. Bro, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it is okay. It is okay. You cannot hold him here. This is against everything that he has been sent here to do. And what has he... He came here as an emissary to, under diplomatic means, and you just put him in this cell this way. This is unheard of. I won't stand for it. Okay, I'll put. Now I go to the other side. Oh, um, and then in response, after the commotion is died, in response to you, the captain of the guard stands up and he's like, "I see no reason to continue holding them." And then you see, kind of the uh, the mayor, uh, South Roy. He's like, well, I do not enjoy the, the acquisition that you would say one of our faithful would do this to another. Uh, I see nothing among you that would be responsible for this. But do not think that we won't be watching you. Uh, the fact that strangers do show up at our doorsteps and something happens that has not happened for years does not may be coincidence. It may not be. Would, uh, yes. no. would yeah. the member that was killed have any enemies? I, personal, personal enemies. Well, there are those that would be jealous since he was one of the chosen that would be invited to the Wisdom's <coughs> Grove on occasion, which uh, I also have the honor of, but very few of the faithful are invited to the Grove. Okay, so basically at that point, I kind of say, so, I say, so you're going to be watching us, and you have to live with the fact that one of yours killed your own. I guess we, we all, all of us here have to accept an uncomfortable truth, and I walk out of the room. Would it not stand a reason that any other members of the Wisdom's Grove are also in danger? Should we not? The, 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 the kind of uh, the mayor uh, whispers over to Vela, and they they kind of have a little sidebar. And then they come back. That is possible. I had not thought of that. There are other chosen's uh, that have. Uh, we have two other faithful that are at the grove now. That is, I thank you for that. We will send people to investigate. And ensure their safety. Please, uh, please let us know what you can. I understand this is personal matters for you. Uh, for us, we are just investigating these as, as diplomatic matters between nations. Do they nod and uh, they stand and they go to leave, um, and they leave out that side door where you don't know they go um, with the guards. Two of the guards go out the main door. Uh, as you're going to leave, uh, the, now at this point, there's only one of the elf councilmen there as the two last guards exit up the thing. She gestures, and the doors close behind on their own. And she's like, quick, a quick word, please. Is that, uh, is that who? Six all of you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, what's that? She's like, I heard you mentioning between each other that there was more information that you weren't telling the council of Broad. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, what is it that uh, all on the table, so to speak? Uh, I say to her, if you 
would like, I would be willing to share so long as Lady Bella is present. I don't think you necessarily need to share. She is one of the faithful. I am one of someone that's observant. So, last night, after you guys all got thrown in the Who Scout, uh, did a little bit of investigating, and uh, the gentleman that was attacked was writing in the ground, and I showed them the no. no. Shield? Grove. 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 Which we are thinking. Shield Grove? Is that a shield? Yes. Shield Grove. We no. thought. Defend the Grove. No. Defend the Grove. Is what we took. Well, yeah. That's what I have So, I turn to her and say, um, there's a boy. And with any luck, the rest of my group now has him. Under their protection. I would assume by the questions you were asking that you believe this boy to be an heir to the kingdom? Based on other evidence that, and other uh, answers that we've received from people, I believe this to be the case. That is very interesting. My master may be very intrigued to learn that. And your master is? Uh, I am an agent of the archivists. Oh no. Oh, oh boy. Do we know who they are? Uh, uh, I know are, just because I've been in a campaign with them. Yeah, it is uh, No, most people know the order is kind of like... person's name again? Uh, she introduces herself to Ziva. But uh, the archivists are kind of like... Think of it as this world's version of kind of like the Harpers. Okay. They're like okay, so they're, they're like, knowledgeable, they're like they're essentially benevolent, benevolent group over. Yeah, benevolent. and there's not many of them. Um, they have techniques that essentially make them immortal. Yeah. If they die, they come back to life. Um, and they try to moves. guide and. Uh, but they don't like really change the events in your generation. And so I, I, I say, so if this boy is the heir to the kingdom, what is how how would it even be possible to restore? Oh, uh, there would be a lot of steps. A, a lot of things would have to occur at this moment the Imperium is at its weakest it has been for probably two centuries. Um, they're on the on the on the verge of civil war. So if anything was to happen in the kingdom now they probably wouldn't have the greatest response at this moment. Um, but I really need to contact uh, my uh, Master in the order to see what he thinks his best um, mm. best way to move forward. <coughs> However, I will advise uh, to Zavroy that they potentially could use other than just sending another of the faithful to encourage them possibly to send the group of you to the grove to protect it. That would be ideal, since their entire line is falling in on itself. Except now, I mean, if they, they send us to the Grove to protect it, what are we to them? We're expendable. You are expendable to them. What is that? What? What are? What yeah. guarantees do we have? Well, it's probably our mission. You're not even here. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. What, what support? What support will we have at the Grove? You'll have yourselves. I know Zavroy, he's only going to send one or two more of the faithful, but the and faithful he, are just people, religious folk. They're not powerful individuals. Oh, I and if there is yesterday. any if there's any threat to the grove, 
as this message that this person left, um, they're not going to be equipped. Based, based on what we've seen, people shape shifting into whatever they want at any time. That does not seem like a lack of power to me. Uh, there's no one in the faithful in this city that has that kind of power. I need to speak with my master, but I think it's something older. Damn it. As a sheep shifter stands in there with a look like a center. Oh, what you talking about? Uh, I, do hope, <laughs> I do hope the microphone caught that goal. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> But the, the, the master of the archivist should be able to assist. And I will be in contact in the future. Okay, so I, I respond with, I, I will not guarantee our particip participation, but we will be willing to hear a, a proposal that we have to offer. Once, yeah, obviously once you speak with your master. Once, once I... Once I speak with Kasa, I will be back to you. Interesting. To the grove. So she she goes to the front door. She opens the front door, and all of a sudden she becomes a halfling and walks out. Ooh, that was intriguing. Hey, wait a minute, I'm a chance. <laughs> you are. Because I was too lazy to get the mic out and record an intro in using bigspeak.ai to make this audio. Now I can tell you that this is a bumper you could use to promote us if you want. Dungeonetics. Hello! Dungeonetics is a Dungeons & Dragons podcast. This is what we sound like. You rolled a 20, your toes, you got nothing. Uh, you almost got him. See, he got a 20. Oh. He, made, he made a saving throw. He so. got a 20. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate young dragons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Albert, make a death save. Well, hold on a second. You, never thought you'd hear about hey, can you can trust us. We're professionals. You can also find us in all things Dungeonetics. That's all things. Facebook. Instagram even gmail.com have a wonderful adventure um, you guys can meet up uh, unless there's anything particular in a few hours a Zavroy and Bella and about uh, eight guards find you uh, and I, do. I, I have something in particular yeah. I would yeah. like to go to a shop and see if I can get a range weapon of some sort okay uh, what are you looking for uh, you know, at least the hand crossbow. Uh, I always take my ID. You're probably not going to find a hand crossbow. You can find a short bow. Yeah, I'll take that. They don't really use the crossbows up here. Right. They're more of a... Do I, have, do I have enough money to get a, a short bow? Yeah. 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 Right. Should be fine. Anyone else want to get anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for healing potions. And also... Uh, I mean, I don't really need a range weapon, but okay. uh, I guess uh, some perfumes. Perfume? Yeah. yeah, you can get some cheaper perfumes. Um, as mean? for potions, those are kind of a little out of your price range at the moment. Uh, that would uh, healing potions about two weeks of your pay. Uh, a no. bow is only a few days. Uh, now, are there any long bows available? A longbow? Yeah. Uh, not I'm going to have proficiency in it or anything, but... Yeah, I don't think you have a proficiency in a longbow, because you... What is your character going to be? There's a little luck. Yeah, so a longbow is much more expensive. Okay. So maybe... Uh, Alright. Like, can I get throwing knives? Yeah, you can get some throwing knives. Nice I, uh, I know one thing you don't need to be proficient in. I'll just grab the, long, the short one. Throwing knives. Nice. Okay. Uh, since we're close to basically uh, dwarfs, a little bit, I would imagine that would be some sort of metalist or, or blacksmith. Um, I'm looking for a bag of 50 ball bearings. Or Caltrops. some caltrops. Right. Or a bag of doorknobs. <laughs> that was a different guy. Nah. I wouldn't mind getting a sling. We had a. I wouldn't mind. Barbarian. 
you know, I mean, in the neighborhood. Time you go for a slight. Thing, or he ran, he would take the door knob yeah. off of the door of whatever place it was. Nice way to have a bag of door knobs. I don't know if it ever came into a thing that he did. Find, he used it. Did he find a door that didn't have a door knob and yes. he put the door knob yeah. on it to turn it? Yeah, yeah. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you get a bag of 20 caltrips. Fantastic. Can I get it? How many flurry mags can I have? Uh, you can get uh, you can get two, 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 or you or you can find up to four. Yeah. You guys aren't fa fabulously wealthy. Yeah, we two dozen, <laughs> two dozen throwing knives would be, send you back some money. How many arrows did I get with that bow? I'll give you the twenty. Twenty right. arrows. I mean, twenty arrows. I get four throwing knives. <laughs> Well, um, a throwing knife is pretty much I'm all kidding, I'm kidding, steel. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All I need. So just be uh, aware if, if your character isn't really a dex build, uh, you're not going to be really good with the weapons you got. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so uh, you would to use your throwing daggers, you would have a plus two to hit. What is the longest range on the short bow? So I put that down here. Yeah, you, your two hit would be the same as your short sword is. Okay, so it's the same kind of. Small one twenty, right? It's it, uh, short range is eighty. Uh, anything over eighty feet is long range. Long range. Well, up to three twenty. Up to three twenty. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure. And I don't think you are a dex build either. So not. even if you get the sling, which you can get, uh, yeah, you I will. Don't worry about it then. Yeah, you are definitely not a dex build. You would have a plus one to hit. Yeah, don't worry about it. It'd be better off for me to just use my vine whip spell. Yep. Anything else? Does mm -hmm. buy anything? I got I don't know. All right, so like I said, myself, Roy, and Bella find you with a compliment of guards. And uh, Zelfroy is like, I don't know how you necessarily convinced uh, our esteemed uh, uh, colleague, Ziva, but she has suggested uh, that the group of you should be the ones to investigate the grove. I find this slightly distasteful and irregular. We normally do not allow uh, access to foreigners, but in this case, if this lion Falcon killing our killer of yours is as powerful as you would lead us to believe. Uh, possibly the group of you will be the most adept to deal with it, <laughs> while keeping enough men in the town to protect it. You ever seen a uh, town get burned up in flames? I mean, really engulfed. I'm sure, as a, a Christian of nature, then you've never had exposure to fire. But what you have in your council is a spark that you don't even know where the fuel is coming from. You should figure out your team before you judge ours. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, they, they, seem, they seem to be taken, kind of taken aback by that. They're like, no offense, Master Tiefling. <laughs> sure. Offense taken. Please. <laughs> so void. Would you be willing to prove your innocence in protecting the grove? Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> I really I just want to get a closer look at the grove. Sorry guys. If we are successful, what's our reward? Sure, we stop getting a closer look at things. Yeah. Your penis in your pants. Well, uh, it depends on what we find. If you can find this. If the grove comes under siege and we have to defend it, what is our reward? The gratitude of the city, and we will give you whatever we are able to provide if this is as dangerous as you claim it to be. That seems very much up to interpretation. And if it comes to you protecting the Wisdom's Grove, uh, the Wisdom... Would it be in your debt? May we meet the wisdom. Yeah, we got him. If you protect the grove, yes. She's the one that killed people. 
Yeah, let's go. At this point, I saunter over. <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> oh, hey, been this whole time, man. Hey, guys. Hey, and everybody explains everything to me. Yeah. And, I'm and that's why this isn't that secure. You realize that. They kind of look between each other and talk. They're like, we will make sure that we double the guard. Does everyone else think this is wisdom, the person that's killing everybody? No. No. My only person doesn't trust religion? Yes. Yep. I actually don't trust the people that we're working for. No, I don't trust uh, anybody. I don't actually, trust anybody. Uh, except I, for my five guys. So I, I actually trust... I don't know. I've had five guys before. I don't trust that food either. No, oh, if, if we're working for, for that version, oh like this God. one's version of the Harpers, I have more trust than I do in the people. You could walk for a week. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Like, you want to open your eyes at the Harpers, but they're always looking for the best possible outcome of everything, so, you know. There's going to be something here that's going to kill you. I feel like Though it does come at sac the sacrifice. Something bad's going to happen, you know. All right, so. You were given directions to the grove. Um, the groovy grove. And they actually the give you, man. each of you, these like <laughs> little like wooden totem necklaces. They look like little people. Um, uh, they explain that without these, the forest itself will, will hide the grove from you. Yeah. Kind of like a Shang-Chi thing? Yeah. Kind of, kind of like. So, so nice. you see, you see a ring of uh, fire, like uh, this ring of power, kind of a ring of stones that are covered in vines. Um, in the middle of this ring, you see a solitary figure kneeling in front of a ball of glowing energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, are you coming in like a uh, bull in the china shop, or are you trying to like slowly creep up? To uh, I'd I'm like to. Like, gonna, yeah, I, I vote for the slowly creep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I agree. Spread out and not come in as a clump of. I agree. Wait, do we yeah. come in like You're a. You're a rogue, you shouldn't hide. You hear, you hear some conversation, but you're behind him. So we can't see who or what he's talking to, or it. No. Can kind of just assume he's talking into the ball. Be smart to do a religion check. So you guys just gonna creep up? Yeah. All right, everyone, give me a D twenty roll for stealth. Whoa. It's gonna be a group check, so the majority of you have to pass. Go! I got a two. I got a three. So one failure. I got a ten. Got two four. failures. I got Yay! Eight. Four. 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 Yeah. I got an eight plus two. Nine. Nine. Sir, I'm not even gonna roll. You know this. Is <laughs> Come on now. I, yeah, I have a chance. Uh, have a this, <laughs> this person is so <laughs> the group check did not succeed. So you guys can start to move yourselves closer. I passed really well. Um, on the at the very, I trust someone. Mm -hmm. Right as you come up forward, one of you steps on a branch, right. and, and it looks like there is like a pause for a moment. Oh no! I lower my and hands. then. You, you you hear a net comes in. You hear stop. like uh, the the kneeling figure say, "The content are perfect." As right before you step on the thing, the content are perfect scapegoats, and the ambitious will attempt to remove their rivals. All is going as planned. And you hear mm -hmm. the the uh, out of the energy ball. You just hear uh, very well, Harbinger, and then the energy disappears. Mm -hmm. And the guy, still kneeling, looks over his shoulder, and he's like, Welcome. <laughs> Are we welcome? Because well, I have my is doubts. Is this the dude that was on the horse? No. <laughs> this is the guy that the horse guy was looking Yeah, our butt. Oh, oh, we don't know. We don't know that, though. We don't know that. Well, I imagine our other characters would have told us. No, we're no, separate. We haven't we've seen seen never the met other characters yet. Characters yet. Yeah, we're we're back back he still hasn't moved, and he's like, Feel free to make yourself at home. Sure, buddy. Why are you here? And why should we not dispatch you right now? 
I I assume what I uh, you did not complete the task that you were given. What the task? You got. It depends be on the tasks you mean, because some were. I don't, you don't know that they are. Well, you followed me all the way here. It's because I we don't trust this you. This is the hot guy. <laughs> We followed you here and walked into a murder, so no, we I followed think you here and you said, told me you sealed every envelope. Yet one envelope was sealed differently. Or once you sealed every scroll, yet one scroll was sealed differently. Explain yourself. He he stands up and he he turns around looking at you and you see that his face is of a, an elf, but his skin seems sickly, almost like the color of ash. He's been turned grayscale. Mm-hmm. Uh, He's no, like, not the bread again. Not the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I sealed none of them, but they were all my letters. But yet you claimed to seal all of them. I claimed many things. But they were still my words. I like that there's not a figure on the table for this person right now. So, <laughs> if, they are, I'm if, just they are, if they are all still your words, then does that mean that you are both... That's usually the, uh, the judge line, and what was the other line? The scales. Scales on the line? No, what was the, what did the other line refer to themselves as? The esteemed uh, line. The esteemed, the esteemed line. line. Yeah. So does that make you both the judged and the esteemed line? I fail, I fail to see how one person could be both. He, he, give me a sense motive. Oh, okay. I rolled a 16 natural, so, and I have All a right, he, deception, so. For a, just a brief moment, his his face that was very confident and very flat, like a poker player, gives a hint of confusion when you ask that. He doesn't know about the. He, he doesn't know about the. He doesn't know about the scales. He doesn't yeah. know that there was other letters. I say, so so I said to him, oh oh, so you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> How observant of a person of such high rank of. So now that we're all here, why don't we sit around the fire? I prefer to stand. I don't want to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll saunter over. Make yourself at home. I'll come closer. I'll sit. I'll sit by the fire. Why all not? Right. Where's the fire? The fire's right in the middle. I'll, I'll join. Of course you will. And while I'm sitting, I look over and I ask, uh... Hustle's the small guy. Were you, were you the one responsible the for the murder of the Chosen the other night? Or did I see wrong? Or did That's I see incorrectly? Individual. Which is Brian. Oh, and it served his usefulness. It, you it was no longer fine. needed for yeah, my plans. Thank you for that. And what happens when we serve our usefulness? I don't know. How many of my goals did you achieve? Wait, let's other... say let's let's hypothetically say more than half. Then I am quite happy. But the Legion you don't know. The Legion's job is not done yet. Why did you have us take that man's hand? To what end was that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be funny. You were up there? Yes. Are you removing the tattoos for a purpose? <clears throat> I'm gonna stay outside. Not like that, but yeah, but yeah. A, I I'll be out by where wherever the the other person. Of some sorts. So maybe you already got it. Yeah. The but it's the graft we're giving it. Uh, does not have the same goals as I do. Well, that's obvious. And who are you? The Harbinger. 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 Yeah. Harbinger is typically a term <coughs> that suggests you're a bringer of something. That's just, yeah, you're just an yeah. usher. Usher for what? He didn't that's like that. Well, that he, 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 he immediately frowns when you're just referred to him as just an usher. <laughs> they didn't call him an usher. I didn't say just. I, I said no, no, no. He did. No, he did. 
<laughs> He's yeah. like the teeth look good. Who's who's the Joker? Uh, who's the uh, Jack? Who's the whore? Oh, and who's <laughs> <That's what laughs> Nerd. So Usher. He kind of just kind of grinds his teeth for a moment. Uh, who has Ouch. the greatest passive perception? Dulac. I have a passive Timbers. 11. 11. Dulac Timber Splits. 13. Dulac Timber Splits. Right. Come with me for a moment. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm getting mine, mine done. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't want anything so, to do with this. So, what you're saying is that if we didn't complete all of our requirements, we are that fucked. you want to punish us in some way. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of like gives you a look through the corner of his eye. And he goes, punishment is a harsh word. Hey guys. Oh no. Yeah, we did actually complete Just all. Give me some did space. No, this room we will go only about half of them. Yeah, I will. Pay attention give to Give me it. some space with this one. Back up. Well, as soon as you that. say that, he goes, I like you right where you are. And you see, while you were talking, the vines of the forest around have been like growing towards the grove oh. and like growing over the sides of the stones. And it's almost like the forest is coming to envelop the entire grove. Okay. Roll initiative. Mm. Now, if you're outside the grove, <laughs> where am I? Like I can't, I, I can't feel. Right in the middle. Oh, I put oh you, yeah, because I, I want to get as close right. as possible. Okay. I'm sorry. What did you get? Um, nineteen. Brawl. Uh, nineteen. So, standing right next to you, forest spray. You see the vines kind of ripple through the ground. <laughs> it's back now. And yes, it's back now. Envelop. Yeah, it looks like back now. It looks like swamp thing. Back now. Kind of. Back now does look like swamp this. It's you know, some sprites. Look, he summoned a football team. Oh, he summoned a Sprites everywhere. These creatures look like if you made a little shrub into a tiny person. Shrubber. <clears throat> oh, we are toasty here. They kind of oh look gosh. like the slap, slap the slap slap guy. Way. In some ways, I'm glad I moved in. Man, Randy Savage. No, that you can't just you, 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 those old commercials. In some ways, I'm glad I have Mark as a shield. The Sasquatch? No, the oh, guy in the green shield. Yes. So there is life for The top guy is. Brawl. Oh, should have got a ring more. Good than you. Should have got a ring more. But I'm fast. So and furious. I am going to curb stop that guy. This is back right there. Cool. So I got a one, two, three. Hit him. And then I've got 40 range. So Ooh, one, two, three, four. Alright. Boom, boom. Alright, if you don't kill him, he'll get in a, unless you have a way of avoiding an attack's opportunity. Yeah, but I'm his back. I'm at his back. You still can attack him. Yeah. Can you unless you have a, yeah. the disengage skill. Yeah. Alright, do that. So, why don't you give your roll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I missed him. You missed? Alright, uh, so do you would you like to let him get a swing at you? Or you can stay in melee with him? Yeah, just stay in melee with him. Okay. Great. Right. Yeah, Alright. Okay. Dolphin, you are staying you right next to the big man. Yes. Right next. Does he look like he's making any attempt to attack himself or is he simply letting his little like shrubbery foot soldiers do the dirty work. He hasn't moved yet, um, but he's not. Oh, you found your floor. Yeah. Yeah. He's just got this current moment to stand in there. <coughs> well, then I say to him, 
Uh, once we're done with this little test, I expect more meaningful answers. And I cast Thornwood. On who? Oh, you got a Thornwood one. All right. Uh, so, range spell attack plus three to hit. So, I still have to roll a d20, correct? Yep. You're killing you. Let's go ahead. Mm-hmm. 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 Into shape. Not that mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. You missed that completely. I did. Even fire. with a plus three, that's only a seven. You hit the fire. Right. We did it So, uh, you, you swing your magical whip that extends from your hand. And he kind of grabs it, and he's like, a druid himself. And you see from his hand, like, your whip just kind of, like, rots and turns the dust right back to your hand. <laughs> well, Ooh. that was uneventful. Well, that Are you going to move? Um, yeah. I am going to, let's see, one, so five, ten, fifteen. Oh, looks like he's using a vine whip of his own. It's kind of random stuff. Slow, slow us down. Yeah, that could be too. Oh, no. All of that's probably difficult terrain now. And the fire goes out. Hmm. In a lightning strike. Oh, Rebo, right. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. What, what, what does he think of himself now? What, what Reba song are you need on? It's still that, that's the so well, he, he had that one time round. Yeah, he, got, he did the rock album. Chris Gaines? Chris Gaines. Yeah, yeah, which Gaines. I know, oh, yeah, that was yeah. weird. That was weird. It was really weird. We get that he's standing on some... You know, so like, go to town on So, uh, basically, the vines that covered his body burst out of the ground around him. Uh, anyone that enters that area is difficult terrain for any creatures that are not plants. <coughs> and uh, they are grasping uh, vines, so you, it looks like if you tried to cross into it, it would try to restrain you. <laughs> Alright, uh, so then it is... They're really going to gang me. I talk some shit, so I expect to get hit. I believe that's the same. Probably knows. Oh, he doesn't know something. John Pitt. Yeah, I look like that meme. Never was that girl. Oh, I know. What? Here's some random information. If you really want to know the information that I was giving you already, know. This is as of right now, the vines are closing. That's correct. Okay. Which is why I was trying to get. Away. Yeah. So good on double double splits. Takes three points of damage. Oh, oh, As no. the, the shrub man scratches you. Now it is Blood Raven. Okay. Poison I do like to do my acid in a thirty foot line that is five oh, feet wide. So if I... He wants to maximize hitting the most number of targets. Right, so if I go right here and I spray... Like how many can you use? Yeah, if I go here, could I get... No, it's a, it's a line. The line. It's so the, the best line you got was where you were. No, it, if you go right yeah. here, can I go there? but it will hit double splits. So well, like you'll hit you'll hit next. three of these yeah, guys. All right, I'm going. If for he it. uses a bonus action to shout a warning to double splits, will that at least give him advantage on double saving? Splits. Jump out of the way! Yeah, can I give him a warning? Because just shouting something should just be a bonus action, shouldn't it? Double splits. It's okay. Joe, I got it. Don't worry about it. All right. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, well, uh, what kind of save? Dexterity uh, save throw takes seven, two d six. All right, let me see. We got. Am I rolling two? No. Oh. What's the dexterity saving throw? What number do I need? DC. Oh, oh, eleven. Each creature in the line must make a DC eleven dexterity saving throw. Oh. All right, roll. <laughs> you didn't make it. No. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. 2d6? 2d6. Yeah, 2d6. Yeah, we'll leave another one. Roll yeah. yeah. no. another 6. Just. Six, oh, wow. 7, 8, 9, 10. No. Plus. What do I no, no, no. Is no, it no. half on success? Yeah, half on. Or half as much damage on a successful one. Yeah, I would say 5. Yeah. 
from his hands comes this like necrotic like Ooh. I don't know like like I, I don't know what color is, is necrotic shit like, oh, like, 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 this this mm. this 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 icor like bolt comes flying out of his hand and he's gonna hit him with Eldritch bla blast. Nice, good, perfect. Well, you gotta, you gotta uh, roll it. Yeah. Uh, nineteen. Ooh. Okay. Uh, which number did you hit? I was going from the big guy. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, oh. So for eight oh. damage, and right after he like drops the bow and arrow and looks at his hand like in awe, like he has no idea what just fucking happened. happened. That makes sense. That's really good. There you go. Character development. That's beautiful, beautifully. All right. You 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 hit him with a pretty decent sized blast, and you see the vein, uh, vines recoil as the blast makes it through to his body underneath. And it, and you see that uh, like as it like the vines like move away, you see him scowl at you as they come back together around. He's like, so we come to terms. Death saving throw. I'm assuming. No, no, no they, death yeah, saving throw. Just go. We're level zero. Yeah, no, yeah. Someone has to stabilize. Right, well, that's one six. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just like these. Oh, okay. Tinier. Okay. We need to finish the music. We are one. So we are going to the top. Who's at the top? Brawl. Me. All right. There's two things I can do. Do the damage um, one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so he I'm, he also has the cantrip spare in the dying. Yeah. yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> All right, um, for your first. I am jumping over the stone. Aren't you still in the middle back there? Yeah. Jumping over the stone, smashing more perfume on him, and, li and lighting him on fire. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Is that uh, the last one? Roll a, uh, roll a uh, attack to throw the vial at him. Uh, six. Uh, it lands in near front. him, but not exactly on him. I still light it on fire. Alright. So you light it on fire, and... Looks like it catches his whole thing. The vines, the vines. The vines are on fire. 
going to be a repeat of what happened to his last character where I have to pass the challenge and fail and Oh, I don't even need to worry about that. Yeah. I would just attack the main guy mm -hmm. and hope the best. I agree. All right. So, Thorn Whip at the main again. All right, roll up. I'm hoping it's not a single digit. What's your distance on that? 13. It has a, oh. No, it's a range of 30 feet. Oh, okay, yes, it is a range of 30 feet. Never mind. <laughs> oh my God. I was looking at the wrong thing, That's my right. bad. So I'm like, the, the I was going to say, that didn't make sense. Because people, I remember, so. Yeah, I remember it being big. really far. So All right, you hit him. So roll. So it is a 1d6, correct? Roll that. No, four. Uh, it, it doesn't have any plus. Yeah, it's just a uh, hand and so, he should now be out of the... Can you pull him 10 feet towards you? Yes. Wow. Oh, that's good. Well, we can actually get um, to him just, now and engage in melee. That's the point. What does that say? Next up is, well, the bad is. All right, so it is his turn. Bobby, roll me a d20. Oh, absolutely. You are now the big bad. Huh. What? You're not really oh, he's wrong for the big guy. I'm going to one. That'd be great. Oh, you know, I rolled a seven, sir. Oh. A seven? All right. You basically throw a thorn whip back at Hutzel. And you miss. Does, that, does Hutzel grab it and rot it? Yeah, I wish <laughs> I could grab it and cut it. <laughs> and he runs back, back into a six. All right, you do. You get two points of damage, Armin. As one of the. Armor class of fifteen. Yeah, he rolled well. So four damage to Mr. Drago. No, he's not touching my person. And then, yeah, out of the back. Oh no! Oh jeez. Bigger, bigger things. No. Yeah. I forgot to mention the note that I had he said that other guys were going to be showing up as well. Oh, thank you. I'm kidding. He did not pass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Blue Lock. I'm going to. So, what are these things that just showed up? Are they more shrub people? They're tree people. They are. Are they dryads? They look like little pine shrubs. And oh you see boy. all the conifers on them have turned into like needle projectiles, ready to like launch off of them. Oh. I don't like that. No, that's not cool at all. It's like porcupines. I'm gonna uh, ray of frost the little guy in front of me there. Number six. Number six. Yes. Number five. Seven. 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 That did not that hit. Did not hit it. And I'm going to move back to by where uh, Dumont's character is. There. Yes. Okay, now we are. Fine. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it is. This guy's coming over here. Uh oh, I'm about to get a hug. <laughs> well, they, they don't move that fast, so they have to. The... So, Drago, Blood Raven. Yeah. I'm gonna shove my sword right in this guy's <laughs> head. Yeah. Um. We just do a d20. Yeah, just a d20 to see if you hit. Okay. Here we go. And I'm, I'm. 
seven, seven plus, plus three. So I think it's a hit, right? It's ten. Seven. Is it a hit, John? A ten? Yes. Oh, ten does not hit. Ah! These have probably the lowest AC of anything you've bought, uh, but ten does not hit. Next is Angralis. Alright, so. Angralis is still a little shocked at the newfound power. And does that bother your. He starts kind of looking at his hands and seeing the, the energy, like, being able to be manipulated. It's like that. And he, uh, kind of put, puts on his sinister like, smile a little bit. Or slowly melting. Yeah, I can feel that. Moves over here. Trust. And then he the basement. does an Eldritch Blast at that way now. Alright, roll it. Yeah. Alright. He does not die. And then we go to the Armin. That's me. Alright. <coughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna <laughs> tumble splits. <laughs> nice. All right. Three, seven, one. My eyes start getting foggy thinking about the times I lit shit on fire. <laughs> Some damage. We, we don't know how much. So I'm firing on that guy then. Number five. Okay. Roll it. Well, I think he's taking 18 damage, but he doesn't seem to have faced him yet. So. Uh, I think he's got a lot so of damage. Six. <laughs> uh, six? Six? Yeah, nah, that does not hit. Alright, Duffin. So this one is still alive, correct? Yep. Alright, then I'm gonna use my quarter staff and try and beat it down. There's, there's my guy, you know, says some sort of a, you know, does a little bow when he's picking it up. Yeah. That's a 19. Uh, that hits. Plus three, so yeah. Uh, it's a 1d6 plus one. Five. Yay. He is destroyed. I want to be able to get in there without dying. Go for the big guy. Who am I going to attack? Wait a minute, can I still move? I would say Duffin. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can move if you want. Let me get Duffin. Alright. Better run, Duffin. <laughs> <laughs> move here. Oh, no wait, Duffin. <laughs> yes, come into my thoughts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you going to help Bob? 
I'm gonna try. That's the thing. Maybe hold on and tap that in there. Give him mouth and mouth. Well, the only problem is he already used yeah. his action, so he can't help him this turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And since he dies at the end of this turn, uh, I thought I had one more turn. I thought it was at the end of the next one. So he's gonna move here, and he will pull back against the uh, other druidish person. Roll it. Let's do a druid. Whoa. But it is a seven plus whatever you got. Uh, that is not enough to hit. Oh, you can tip your gap to me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting needles. It's the only one that makes sense. No, I mean, this <laughs> does make sense. Because he's directly engaging and has been for the last three turns with the big guy. The big guy. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. Fire. All right, roll. Oh, wow. <clears throat> 13. 13. Uh, plus three, that hits. Oh no! Uh, roll two d six. Oof, two d six. Oh no! Jeez, we're both about to trade it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not by choice. Five. Uh, you got like All right, one. plus one. That's six damage. That's often. So how many hit points do I have? You have three. Right now you have three. Right now you have three. All nice. right. Uh, who is he gonna attack, Bobby? Do what this, you think uh, right. oh, I course. didn't see this happening. Boom. Yeah, um, I gotta do it. It's focus fire. It's it's what experts do when they play. Who are you going after? Me. Bobby. Oh, Definitely. Oh. That misses. That misses. Uh, you miss. You gotta dodge that bullet. I did. Um, I'm gonna go swinging at this guy again. Alright, roll it. Just because he's there. Is yeah. your guy down? No. Seven. No, I'm just standing there. Ten. No, he just has a problem saying that. Oh, okay. Like, uh, <laughs> ten, ten misses. Oh my yeah. god. This sucks. This is you? Yes. Yeah. And Grawlis? Ten. Two All tens right, in so a row. And Grawlis is seeing, you know, what you guys think? Uh, it's Blue Hawk. Oh, yeah. Blue, Grawlis is seeing Blue Hawk just constantly bring this guy closer. So I'm not bringing him closer. I'm not bringing him to you. I'm just He's okay. just walking towards so, you as he follows. I'm bob so, bobbing and weaving here. So you just see him. He, he's growing a little bit more comfortable with his newfound power, and he just nonchalantly throws out his head like that. And you know, he's got maybe a little, a little bit of an ego about it now. So. Nice. <laughs> Does a little salt day action. Okay. Right, can't and because he got two so he, so so uh, so arrogant about it, he misses at. A nine, so excellent. <laughs> All right, Armin. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my bonus action to knock this fucker. All right, roll it. Away. I need a roll for that. Yeah. All right. Let's show. It's a six. All right, come on, Armin. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go up to this guy. Oh Ooh. wow. Oh, okay. Now we're. I'm gonna, exactly. uh, I'm gonna try to two hand slice this guy now. Uh, yeah. I like it. 16. That's a nice. You did. 
plus three, and that's a one ten eight. eight nice. Eights. Uh, you Eight. did not bring him down, but he is barely standing. He's like, barely boy, um, you, you like come a, up and you, like you chop like out. It's eight, eight plus one, so. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're it's almost. It's like a tree, like, it's like half cut and half. It's like the bending. That was leaves. probably the biggest blow of your thing. Uh, help me. And Durlock, you have died, unfortunately. That's not your card, but. You have, gotten, <laughs> you have gotten dysentery. Yeah. You've gotten dysentery. <laughs> you got dysentery. <laughs> Oh. Oh. It's the only thing more fun than botulism. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bob. That was going to be I killed by you. <laughs> you got killed by your All right, bro. Fire. <laughs> you got friendly fire. <laughs> you friendly friendly fire. You said Brian. Brian. My question. That's the legacy Brian has <laughs> uh, from the last game. He does. Brian has <laughs> a All right, right. bro. Okay. I'm a murderer. <laughs> Right. Friendly fire. Bob. Talk the big game before he walked out there. Then. So I'm going to put a fire in this guy. Yes. Uh, hit for 20, or I hit it for uh, 15. Hits. 15. 15 hits? So yeah, that's damage. modifier or no? Uh, damage modifier? Well, yeah, plus, like a plus. A plus to your decks if you do the next. Or even a plus to damage. Mm -hmm. No, okay. So it's just All right, so fortunately, that is what he was at. Oh, two. Bizarre. So now we are Should at... After Brawl, you're at Duffin. Look at good. You guys are handling out a bushing. So, five. Oh, the fire spread? Ten. Fifteen. And romantic. I'm going to use Thorn Whip on the main guy again. <laughs> take him down. I was like, well, I'll just give him the first yeah. Christmas. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to see if I can drag him through the fire. <laughs> you guys going to do a party this year? It is. Oh, it's a nine? I don't know. Nine does not hit. Yeah, well, plus three. So nine. Because we're having 12 Christmas. here. To hit what? For the thorn whip. I think you need a 14. The thorn whip on uh, on the big guy? Yeah. Big right, guy. Roll it. Oh, really? Trumpets? Yeah, just barely. I had a feeling. Five. Plus. Alright, just five. And I'm guessing that pulls him out again? Yes, sir. Well, it pulls him right here. Yeah. It only pulls him five, right? Into the fire. No, I went one step from the fire. Like that Garth Brooks song. All right, Bobby. Yes. Six feet from the edge. Constrict. No, the other Constrict one. Constrict the dwarf. Into the fire. Okay. Only got three hit points, man. Come at me. Like that. that was Johnny Cash. That's no, 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 a ten plus. No, no, no. Garth Brooks song. Right. A ten plus four. What's your AC? Uh, I'm pretty sure. He's got that, but just not being good. Fourteen. Uh, my armor class is fourteen. So that hits. Corey Ham was in staff. Roll 2d6. Does he have to get greater than my armor class to hit? No. Oh, he's just oh, 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 Corey Feldman. And which one died? Corey Feldman. Your maker. Oh, I'm done. Corey Feldman. Yeah. Corey Feldman. I am. Yeah, down. Yeah. 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 And when? He got like 40. He got a 60. So you see I his vines come up to you. He's going to be at the zombie. I and know. you see they drag him help? up. Yeah. And they start constricting and like. Strangling his body. Oh wow. Thanks. Hot shot, hot shot. And uh, so what we got here? We got this dude. 
dude a lot of me. This dude. So we are going to attack Draco. And we hit Draco. Four points of damage. Yeesh. So how is Draco doing? Uh, Draco's uh, at one. Oh. So then we got one attacking Armin. Misses. Are you computing? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm diagnosing it whatsoever. Armin? I am slowly shutting down. Yeah, I, I noticed. All right, this guy good. moves right there. I, I know I'm a dead. Bobby? Right now. Yes. Who's he attacking? No, no, because, well, I mean, I mean, question, what is this creature's intelligence? This matters. Four. Damn it. Now I have to do the dumb thing. <laughs> I will attack Armin. Okay, roll it. Uh, 11 plus whatever. Is, is a 15, which means if it's plus 4, it hits. It, hits. it is a plus 3. Oh, it misses. It misses. It misses. Ooh, that is a bullet. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to a long sword, or a short sword, because the person will throw in here. Well, we pull this off and be crazy. Yeah. The 14 oh, yeah, plus 2, 16. That is it. Roll. One d six. That's a three. Oh, that was a five. Is that for your short sword or? It's your sword, yes. Yeah. All right, that that does three damage. And then it's his turn. And uh, he is going to swing at you, hitting you for three damage. I hope someone grabs my cow traps. Where is he at now? Uh, we are yeah, at Dragon. I mean, oh, they're all in the Everyone's one. To it. Oh, you, you just so, uh, you're at four. four. All right, I'm going to try and hit four again. Please. Well, you can do it. Uh, Nine. 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 Well, that's higher. That's plus three. Plus three. So that's twelve. That should hit. Come on. It unfortunately does not. Oh! Uh, my only the God. big guy has a twelve. Everyone else is a thirteen. All right. What? That makes. Other than your initial three, which is a lot of the little guys you kill. Yes. And Grawlis? All right. Grawlis is. Uh, uh. Slightly more humbled at the finish, realizing that he needs to use a little bit more finesse with that new drop power. But he's gonna drop his dice. Drop my dice. We can count that one. Okay. Depending on what number. We'll see what it is. It's under your chair. He's gonna go to the main guy. He's gonna shoot at the main guy. He didn't like that, you know. For fucking 20. Oh! That 20, critical. Oh, nice. Alright, you roll your damage twice. Six. 13 damage. That's a nine, that's not a six. Yeah, so 13? A four and a nine, right. so. Critical. So, the vine guy drops to his knees, releasing. <coughs> Releasing the druid, and then you see every single one of the plant creatures. Look at you! Look at you! <laughs> no! Oh, well, yes, I can still move. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping that would uh, finish them off, but uh, see you guys at the bar. See <laughs> <laughs> you guys back at the tavern. It's a smart move. He's got range. Yeah. And only one of them does. Alright. So, as the next thing goes, you could see like the vines that were like forming that kind of armor around him are like struggling to keep him, uh, keep themselves repaired. Uh, Does the fire spread? What? <laughs> Does the fire spread? 
Uh, yeah, but he's been moved out of it. Um, <laughs> uh, suddenly, on the other side of the grove, a uh, you see an owl land on one of the stones, and after a moment, transforms into a female elf, oh, wearing uh, yeah. a like elk no. skull mask with antlers coming out, uh, wearing and uh, in a green robe. On that stone over there. Over here. No, the big one. And you see at that the remaining lights kind of just dissolve into the ground and the kneeling harbinger turns around facing her he goes exiled you were never to return the harbinger is like looks pained in the fact that he was partially defeated by you guys and then he breaks into a cloud of ravens and flies off in multiple directions as the woman waves her arm and all the flames smolder out and the entangling vines disappear. Anybody got a band aid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can go. I can do the. Spare the dying. All right, you do spare the dying, uh, which saves the dwarf. Um, Where's the dwarf? And then uh, the lady kneels over uh, to the dwarf's body and puts her hand across it, and you see his wound just knit together, and he awakens. Sweet. Is there any good thing you could do about our friend over here? No, he dead. He's been dead for a while now. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot raise the dead. Unfortunately, or so no, unfortunately, I'm, 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 I'm going to move in a little bit closer because I'm sure they're all going to want to hear whatever she has to yes, say. Yes, might as well then move in. I thank you for protecting the grove uh, from the once member of the order that betrayed us. Glad we can help and prove our innocence. Oh, I care a little for the crimes of the city, but I have a feeling that there is a more of a reason why you're up here. Wouldn't be wrong. Or would she? Hmm? <laughs> no. no, I left it open. <laughs> you can you can see behind the elk skull. Yeah. Her eyes are the free, fiercest silver you've ever seen. Almost like mercury. Okay. Mm. Mm. Your blood. So oh, at that point, she's the, she's the, uh, the Mother Earth. She's the, yes. oh. she's the wisdom. Oh. So, yeah, so I guess at that, point, at that point, I guess I'll say you're the one they call the wisdom. I am the wisdom of the graph. And I protect Felcross. And I humbly accept your aid in my absence. Can you tell us anything about the boy and what his role is in this conflict? The boy the heir? silver eyes and platinum hair. Yes, he's an heir to the throne of Endurin, such as several bastards that litter this valley now. Some would use this as a tool to control those of the valley. I have no interest in that. So he is not the only heir? There's a few of us. A few of us? Of us. Yep. I told you her eyes were the fiercest silver. Yeah. You oh, never she's all, she's, all the descendants of silver be, eyes are, yeah. are royalty. So, so you don't care for your brothers and sisters? I am a wisdom and I have protected this forest for 2,000 years. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. so that's all right. so I lived before the fall of the kingdom. Do we ask why someone would 
What purpose would somebody want the child for, other than I, I mean, what political? Maybe act? someone does have the idea to raise raise the uh, the kingdom, but it wasn't me. And I don't think it was the harbinger either. Do you know anything about the seal? Who would use the seal of the scales of justice? The scale, as you call it, or the scales of justice, whatever you wish to refer to it as, was the rulership of the old kingdom. And those that king that that protected the kingdom, uh, the eyes and mind of the kingdom were called the scale. And why would they refer to themselves as being and part of the the? Why would they refer to themselves be, as being within the family who used the crest of the lion? Well, they're not part of the lion. Lion is the house that rules Lindbergh. Yes. So. So we we received. You got something from. We the received. Outside. Yes, I, I received a uh, a task. From the scale. From the scale to the. She seems to ponder that. Yeah. I had not been aware the scale was still active in this area. But it was signed to Judge the Lion. Maybe the Judge Lion did something bad. Political intrigue. Yeah, why is the judge lion pretending to be the scale? Or why is the scale judging the lion? Oh. No, I, I feel like that's backwards, though. I don't care. I'm not really sure what's going on in a lot of stuff happening. I, I feel like... It sounds to me the judge, whoever the judge lion is, was somebody that was within part, within the family. Well, you were was possibly ousted or exiled and is now turned to the scale for support. The possibly. reason they're getting the child is to confirm their... But something you'd be interested to know due to your history, and I do know who you are, is that the protectors of the kingdom were called the scales, scale legion. And when the kingdom fell, they became the scale company. Oh. Well, that's the name of our, our... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Does anyone want to ask them about the archivist? Kazakh. Well, that, that, that means that... Kazakh king. That means that whoever the judge lion is, he's going to be the company. If that's the case. Spy. I'm old. I turned to her and I said thank you for the information we'll follow up on um, this. Okay. And she she Call you for helping me. <laughs> I am busy protecting the forest, but if you ever find yourself in the forest needing me, but I ask you to be wary of the even though I protect the uh, town, uh, the Duskhorn orcs have been very active as of late. When did that happen, first start? The orcs? Yes, because to my knowledge they weren't quite a prevalent force now as they were before. Uh, they have been under control for a while, however something has emboldened them as of late. And some of them have been ranging outside the forest. I'm not sure, but the exile may have something to do with it. Hardly. So the guy he just defeated and sent away might have been encouraging the orcs to be a bit more aggressive. The exile forsaken our path long ago and aligned himself with the god of death. And when Ben Solis fell, he was banished from this realm. Ah, right, Solis. 
That's not good. But after the veil was destroyed 50 years ago, and the god of death vanished, he freed himself. A uh, different note. Huh? A uh, different note. Yes. Is the tree really just a tree? <laughs> <laughs> No, it, 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 it actually has some kind of magical truck. <laughs> it is, it is. Just, she kind of just scoffs at you and just shakes her head while looking down at her feet and says, No, the tree is a gift. A gift from the earth. It provides nourishment and protection for those who fall in faith. Cool. Cool. I mean, do you have any knowledge of weapons that we may use to have extra strength to fight? The dwarves? Uh, I'm not a warrior. Just so a fighter. There's no, there's no hidden caches? Weapons no. that the old, the old empire used to use? Uh, I would assume that when they cast the magic that drowned the capital, that there are plenty of uh, relics within the ruins of Durin. But I... Uh, Places not safe for uh, unprepared travelers. Oh, there you go. I wish you the best on your way. Now we can. Can I say one final question? Yes. <laughs> And then I, I, I said, like, I'll just blast it into the ground. I say, do you have any idea what would cause this to happen? Someone or something has gifted you energy. It would be best to find out who it is or what it is and whether what it wants with you. And she kind of like melts. She like walks towards a tree be behind the uh, grove and just walks like into the side of a tree and disappears. Like so melt the stone except melt the tree. Uh, we done tree before. Walk. Tree walk. All right. Yeah. Tree walk. We head back to the camp. Of all our people, right? Yeah. yeah. So you guys. And there we have it. Signed, sealed, and delivered, the preamble to an adventure. Our heroes have been recognized. Our blades have been sharpened. And I'm sure we all understand exactly who the main enemy is. Brian. I mean, ourselves. I mean, Brian, you, you do know who. Oh, boy. Thank you very much for listening. As always, we can be reached at Dun Genetics on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and at gmail.com with the name Dun Genetics. That's D-U-N-G-E-O-N-E-T-I-C-S. If you're wondering, it's like Dianetics, except with a dungeon. And hopefully we get sued because, much like the cult in this adventure, they're bad people. Thank you again for Kellen bringing the big spicy sound of our opener. The people at freesounds.org for putting the little himps and whistles and bangs and kabooms and all the bounds that you see. It's, it's free. Oh, and finally, Virus of Ideals for their amazing sound that you're currently hearing. God, they are beautiful. As always, remember... Each inside every one of you is a little adventurer just ready to get out. If you hold them back, that pressure is going to build like a tea kettle and it's just going to explode. Or a pressure cooker or any sort of uh, device where 10 pound turkey can't fit inside of a 2 pound bag. It just gets all squeezy at the end and then you get pimples. Thank you and... Good night.